everybody welcome back today's video is going to be a little bit different we're going to be making a keychain i was opening some mini burst capsules and i came across this one it is a new recipe we do not have it however as soon as i saw it i knew this was meant for someone very very special let me show you everything and then we'll start building our little keychain so here we have the chocolate waffle bowl isn't this cute <laughs> let's go ahead and get this opened and take a closer look at the waffle bowl i really like how well made and realistic the mini burst waffle bowls are i think they did a really really good job with these next we have the mint chocolate chip happy sun creamery so we have some amazing and 100% net fun <laughs> ice cream it's an award-winning flavor and let's take a look let's see what it looks like inside oh wow that's awesome so we do have the mint chocolate chip scoops we have a total of one two three four perfect that is going to definitely help us build this keychain a little bit better the more the merrier right we have some syrup, some hummingbird approved syrup, as well as some of the sun baked sweet ice cream. I think these are meant to be like little ice cream sandwiches. I may be wrong. And we have some white chocolate chips. This is the first keychain I make, so I'm not too sure how we're going to go about building this, but maybe we should take a look at the recipe and see and get an idea of how this should look. Let me just find it here. I think it's an... Is it the cafe series? Let me check. Let me just see. I don't see it. Hmm. Am I wrong? Is it not the cafe series? Yeah, maybe. I know for sure it's series 2. Did I miss it? Oh, it's actually the diner series. And we're going to be using... Where are you? It's plain hard to get. Here it is. So it's the mint chocolate chip sundae. Let's go ahead and get this out of the recipe box and we'll start constricting our little mini verse sundae. I can't believe I missed this one in our little recipe book, but I haven't really made much sundaes, so I wasn't 100% sure which series it would be on, but it looks pretty easy, right? Just some ice cream scoops, toppings we got this i think the very first thing we need to do is make sure we have a very well secured base i'm going to add a ton of resin and add our first scoop of ice cream to make sure that it's solid we need that good foundation to make sure that our keychain doesn't come apart let me see is this enough i think so i think this is going to be enough i went ahead and cured it and it seems to be secured not going anywhere I think we're ready for the second scoop. I like how the scoop looks here. I think we need to add some resin and get it cured. I really like these little syrup bottles from series 2. I think they're so cute and they're so easy to squish and get some of this resin out. Let me go ahead and add our second little scoop. Just like this. Let me make sure it's nice and secured. We're going to get this cured and we'll be right back nice and secured let's go ahead and start adding our third scoop of ice cream i think we're only going to add three and we're going to save the other one as another item to add to our keychain i do not want a bulky keychain for her i think she would like something more simple but i was thinking right now who else could like mint chocolate chip ice cream is there any anyone out there that likes mint chocolate chip if so let me know i'm curious because the only person i know of that likes this is my sister so i'm very curious to see if anybody else really likes chocolate chip mint ice cream well the rest is curing let's go ahead and prepare our fourth scoop for this scoop i think we need to add some of this chocolate resin and we need to add maybe one of these i think they're sandwich cookies i think that's what they are and then we're going to grab some of this white chocolate chip sprinkles. I think we just need one or two. Let me see how it looks. Ooh, these are going to be hard to grab. I need to get myself a different type of tweezers for these. Because these are so tiny and delicate. 
but we're making it work let me go ahead and just add the third one just like this okay i think that looks good let me go ahead and get this cured and we'll be right back our sundae is very nicely cured nothing is moving budging it's staying there <laughs> now it's time to decorate it i think we're going to use the same concept as we did with the fourth scoop we're going to grab some of the white chocolate sprinkles these are hard to take out of the little container for some reason and we're also going to be using the chocolate syrup and the i think they're either regular just sandwich cookies or ice cream sandwich cookies but we're going to be using those as well i think i'm just going to add maybe three or four i think that would look good i do not want to oversaturate it I do not want to oversaturate this Sunday, so I'm going to be very careful where I place things to make sure that we add enough, but not too many to where we lose the main focus, which is the mint chocolate chip ice cream. This little sandwich cookie, I think it looks better in the middle, just like this. And I'm going to do the same with the next one, but on the other side. That way we keep things even, and if the keychain moves around, you could still appreciate everything no matter what direction the little sundae can take, right? While we add some of the toppings to our sundae, I did want to share with you that I finally was able to get a hold of several of the Halloween Make It Mini Food capsules, which I had been hoping to grab some more of so that I could send some to you. So we will be holding a giveaway this month in October. My next video after this one will be strictly for that where I will share the rules and everything that is needed for you to be able to enter. And that is just a token of gratitude for everybody that has joined me through this YouTube journey. I did grab a PO box for that purpose, but I will add it on the description or on my profile on YouTube in case you ever want to send me a letter. Or I would love, love, love to see pictures of you recreating maybe the fridge that we had the tutorial for or the pantry. That would be amazing. So if you ever want to send me pictures, postcards, letters, I will have my PO box listed. But stay tuned. We will have that giveaway on rolls and soon on our channel. So now let's go ahead and finish up our keychain. We already have the sundae and the scoop completed. Now it's time to build the keychain. <laughs> the first thing we'll be doing is attaching our tassel with an open ring to our keychain. All of these little items that you see for the keychain, I purchased through Amazon. I just searched keychain kits. And you'll see kits that have absolutely everything that you need. So if you like one, um, by all means, your choice which one you choose. I don't remember which particular seller I purchased from, but that's all you have to do. Just search keychain kits. Now that we have our little tassel added, next we need to see if we want to add first our sundae or if we want to add the little ice cream scoop. I think we're going to add the sundae to the end of the keychain. So I'm going to use one of these eye pins, attach it to the keychain and the sundae. To do so, I'm going to help myself with this little drill. You may not even need it because these little eye pins, it's pointy at the bottom. So even with just pressure, you're able to screw it onto the sundae. I'm going to swap out the drill bit to the smallest or thinnest one I have and then we're just going to drill that little hole let me show you what it looks like hopefully the camera can pick it up next I'm going to add the eye pin I've noticed that the little ice cream scoops are soft so even with maybe just some pressure you may be able to add the eye pin now that that is nicely secured I'm going to go an extra step and I think I'm going to add some resin to it just to see if that will help secure it more. I would hate for this to fall off 
do you know of any other way that I can better secure this? Or do you think just with the eye pin if that should be enough? Let me know in the comments if you know or if you've ever made keychains. Any tips, <laughs> recommendations, anything helps because I'm new to this and I want to make sure that I make these as best as I can, especially if I'll be sending anybody any of these. So let me go ahead and do the same thing with the little ice cream scoop. Let's take out the little drill. And now let's add another eye pin. Just like this. I'm going to do the same thing. Add some resin. Not sure if it'll help or not. But why not, right? Just a tiny bit. Making sure it doesn't look horrible. <laughs> we still want it to look presentable. So I need to be careful. It did need some more. So I guess that was a plus. For the final steps of our keychain, we just need to add the ice cream sundae and our fourth ice cream scoop to the actual keychain. For that, we're going to use some open rings to help attach the items to the chain and to the key ring. Let me just make sure we secured them firmly and this is what it's looking like. I'm still debating on where I want to add the ice cream scoop. I don't know if we should add it directly to the ring or with an open ring. But in the meantime, while I sort that out, I'm going to make a little letter for my sister. And this way I could add it to the envelope that I'll be mailing her. I wish we lived nearby, that way I could just hand it to her in person. But we are separated by a lot of land <laughs> so it will have to be mailed but i have decided to add the ice cream scoop with an open ring to the key ring this is what it looks like let me show you please let me know what you think was it a must or is it a fail let me know in the comments and let me know your thoughts or any recommendations you may have to make these better I know there's a lot more things we can add to them, but I wanted this particular one to be all about the ice cream because that is what truly reminded me of my sister. And I know that if it were too bulky, I don't think it's something that she would like, but I could definitely see maybe some of you liking it with maybe your initials on maybe like an acrylic piece or something else that we could add. But open to any thoughts, feedback, recommendations. Let's go ahead and get this packaged so that we can go ahead and mail it to her. Do you like how it's looking? <laughs> I can't forget the special note, so we need to make sure to add that to the back. Let me go ahead and get that added, and we're all set. Thank you everybody, I appreciate you. You have a great day, take care. Bye everyone.